Hey everybody, welcome to the Part-Timers Barbecue YouTube channel. I am Max, the Part-Time Pitmaster. On today's episode, we're gonna be tackling jerk chicken. We're gonna be smoking down the pit barrel, but that's for tomorrow. Today, we're gonna break down that chicken, we're gonna get it marinated, and we're gonna make that marinade. So stay tuned, and uh, let's have some fun. So let's dive in. Let's break right into this marinade, jerk marinade. Now here is all the veg. You see me chop this up in my nifty little veg chopping montage that I put before this. Now we're gonna hit up all the wet ingredients first because the cutter on this is on the top and I wanna get those veggies all chopped up. So first we're gonna go in with a little soy sauce. Now I just eyeball it maybe about two tablespoons. We're gonna go with a little oil. This is vegetable oil, canola oil, olive oil, whatever you wanna use. Probably go with uh, maybe two tablespoons of that too. We're gonna go a splash of lemon juice. Just for a little tang. And we're gonna go in with some vinegar. Now, I usually would use apple cider vinegar. Completely forgot to buy some. My bad, it is what it is, right? Okay, so now that we got our wet ingredients in there, we're gonna go in with some brown sugar. All right, a little bit more brown sugar in there. So it's probably a quarter of a cup. Again, this is barbecue. There's no exact recipes, no exact, uh, details to things you kind of just eyeball it taste it as you go and if it tastes good it tastes good all right so here i'm going to use some nutmeg we're only going to use a little bit of this though because it can be overpowering i'd say like half a teaspoon half a teaspoon half a teaspoon for sure now we're going to hit our ground cinnamon this will probably go with a full teaspoon it's not so bad i'll give it a nice little sweet nutty flavor and now our allspice so let's get that in there this we'll probably want to do like about a tablespoon that gives it that real authentic jerk flavor we're gonna hit a couple little sprigs of thyme it's fresh you can use dried no big deal a little bit of that in there. Probably be better if I went like this. Oh, that's using your brain there, Max. All right, so now we got the wet. We got a little bit of the dry in there. Now we're gonna throw our veggies in here. We're gonna get ready to blitz it up. So again with the veg, that was onion, green onion, scotch bonnets. If you can't get your hands on scotch bonnets, remember habaneros are basically the same thing. So you can use those. Um, garlic in here. Mm, yeah, I believe that's it. So let's blitz this up and break down the chicken next. All right, now we're gonna handle the chicken. But first, here's our marinade. I forgot to press record when I blitzed it up, but there it is, tasted it. It's fire, literally fire. Super jerky, pow, just a punch of flavor. But anyway, I also added a little bit of salt and pepper because I completely forgot to put that in when I was filming. But hey, this is re a real channel where real shit happens. Now let's break down this chicken. This is kind of a 
two for one video in the sense where half of this chicken I'm gonna jerk for this and then the other half I'm gonna do barbecue. So I'm making everybody in my family happy. Let's break right into it. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to take the string off. I cut the string. I'm gonna show you basically how to spatchcock it and then how I take it a step further. I remove the breastbone completely. So let's get to the spatchcock part. One, we're gonna go here, we're gonna cut along the backbone. Now these are nice Mercer shears. I like them for detailed work, to be honest. Trimming briskets, trimming the edges, making them round. We're gonna cut right down the middle, backbone removed, All right? You're gonna have some buildups of fat. We'll get rid of those, but we'll get into that a little bit more if we're detail after. So we're gonna cut this here. I'm just gonna break it open. Cut that membrane a bit. Now we're gonna get our finger in here. And cut, you can feel the bone. It doesn't always come out easy. To be honest, it never comes out easy. And of course, when I'm filming a video, it's gonna make sure to give me problems. There. Well, ugh. with a little persistence, we got it out. So now we got that breastbone out and the cartilage. This is ready to go. A little bit of trimming with some tendons. Get rid of those. The kidneys are already removed with the backbone. You can take the ribs out if you want or just leave them in. It all depends on you. But we're gonna come right down the middle here and we're gonna cut this right down. Now, we have two half chickens. This one, gonna be for barbecue. This one, gonna be for our jerk. So, let's do a little clean in here. Some of this fat off of this. Now remember, jerk chicken, don't have to be pretty. You want some char on there. We're actually gonna do something a little different where Usually I try to make my chickens look beautiful and pretty. This time, <clears throat> always tuck your wings, my friends. This time, we're going for maximum flavor. So I'm actually gonna slit the skin so we can get maximum flavor penetration into this bird. Now, get yourself a Ziploc bag. Chicken goes in. Glove removed, marinade inside there. Now remember, we wanna save some of this marinade for if we make the, decide to make a sauce, a barbecue sauce, anything later. So save some off to the side. Now we're gonna get this chicken marinated and we'll see you at the pit tomorrow. All right, got my pit barrel basket full of lumberjack premium lump charcoal and some cherry chunks. I'm gonna get this in and get the barrel warmed up. Now that the barrel's warmed up, I'm adding a couple more chunks of cherry wood before I put the chickens on. Always remember, it's very important with using a pit barrel to put the rebar back in as this helps maintain temperature with these grills. Now, once we get the chickens on, we're ready to rock and roll. So first I'm gonna put the, my barbecue chicken on and then we're gonna do the jerk. And you will notice my placement of the chickens. I have the legs closer to the fire. We are cooking it direct right here, but also I have the breasts, which are more sensitive, further away from the fire. The dark meat, the thighs and the drums can take a higher internal temp and can take the direct heat better. is looking fantastic on both chickens but we're focusing more on the jerk one so I'm about to take the temperature just to see where we're sitting at.
All right, I'm about to hit these chickens with a butter base. I like to do this on my barbecue chickens when the skin starts to get a little crispy, add some moisture and help for the final product. While I'm doing it with the regular barbecue chicken, I might as well throw a little butter on the jerk chicken because why not? Butter never hurt anybody and I'm already here. And this is just regular t uh, tub butter, fake butter I like to call it. Just over an hour, we are pretty much ready to cook. I made up some jerk barbecue sauce. So this is the same jerk marinade that we use to marinate the chicken in, mixed with ketchup and other things to make a barbecue sauce. I can dive deeper into that in another video, but I'm gonna put some of this on our jerk chicken. took the other chicken off it's sitting on some butter now we're gonna flip this chicken over the jerk chicken Ooh, yeah. we're gonna hit this other side with some sauce now so here they are about to throw them in my oven set to 160 and let them rest for a bit before dinner this one looks jerky as hell it's all fall apart -y threw some butter in there to add to some moisture through the rest and this is the straight barbecue one all right time for the taste test we're gonna cut this breast right in half and you know jerk isn't meant to look pretty and this looks like jerk chicken it's nice juicy packed with flavor we're gonna take this leg off and we're gonna take a bite of that it looks good smells good let's go for the gold Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you haven't already, you can check out my Instagram page for more content between the posts. I'll link that in the caption. Remember, keep that smoke alive and have yourself a wonderful day.